Okie dokie. This is Mitzi, Mitzi Adventures. They got me uh, getting ready to put me on uh, chemo. See if they can shrink this little sucker so I can breathe better. I'm trying to get the doctor to mark my uh, nutrition that I'm not allowed to have eggs or those sausage colored rubber discs that they keep bringing me. They bring me a little lot of eggs, that sausage colored crap that I won't eat, and then a little bitty brownie looking thing so that my stool's the right color. So I think I can figure on that one. And uh, yeah, that's it. If they don't, if I'm in the bathroom or if they can't find me, that's what they bring. Oh, I stopped playing. So I'm trying to get them to say I'm not allowed to have eggs or uh, sausage looking discs. <laughs> so that if they can't find me, at least whatever they bring me won't be that. Because uh, it makes me cry when they sell me that. I don't get toast with it. I don't get anything with it. It's just a little wad of yellow, little wad of chocolate looking, brownie looking little thing. And, um, what was the third one? Oh, a little round rubber sausage colored frisbee. Disgusting. So, I'm getting pickier. Does that mean I'm getting better? Or just getting bitchier from being here too long. I don't know. Okay. Uh, did I say? I don't think I told you. I have small cell lung cancer. So I did get a diagnosis yesterday. So this is how quickly they're trying to move. They're trying. They're going to give me some pills today. Chemo pills. To try to uh, get the size down, which I'm all for because if they get the size down, that means it won't be blocking my airways and I'll be able to breathe better. And that's a good thing. I've been in a much better mood since they told me I had cancer. Just because we're moving forward, we're not stagnant anymore. We're making plans, doing something. Okay. This is a machine they say I need to exercise my lungs because I'm not moving around enough. I'm supposed to get it to come off. Uh -huh. Without coughing. I can get it to 250 pretty good. Up to that 500 mark, it's hard. That's no fun. They need to get better, better toys. They're going to start chemo today. Um, he suggested that I should be on cisplatin once every four weeks, four times, and etoposide three times every four weeks. They can't put me on the cisplatin, but they're going to, the etoposide is pill form, and uh, they're going to Start giving me the etoposide to see if it'll start shrinking the mass so that I can breathe better. While they're figuring out what to do with me outside of the hospital, where to put me. So, etoposide. Three times. Every four weeks. The dates are just an example, he said. So if I take it today, I'm going to take it um, three times. 
this week, I guess. I don't know. Hell, I don't know. Something like that. Radiation is maybe sooner, maybe later, depending on how this stuff goes. And my son, Zach, you're supposed to check on FLMA. No, FMLA. Family Medical Leave Act. It's not an option. Everybody has to do it because it's a federal thing. So, Zach, check that because you should be able to come here without losing your job. Ugh. Uh, uh, alrighty, being a good girl, doing what they tell me, getting ready to take some chemo. Okay, I'm going to end this really early today because I know everybody's been anxious to know an update. And since I do have the diagnosis now, I figured I should get this out to you. Um... They've been putting me on breathing, uh, what do you call it, breathing, a breathing, oh, the thing that you breathe in, you know, they put liquid in it, nebulizer or something, that's helped a lot, that helps me, they got me down to number two again, so I'm a little bit panicked, because I'm not getting much oxygen, but I'm still breathing, so can't complain too much <sighs> okay I'm gonna go ahead and release this video so that you know what's going on everything is positive think positive you're all helping me stay positive I appreciate it so much and uh, the only big problem issue that I may have is trying to figure out where to go when I get out of here until my son comes up my son's gonna make it up here in uh, towards the end of February and according to the doctors that's probably a good time that I might be able to travel by then he, right now they said I am not going to travel so the timing sounds good to them they're putting me on starting me today on the uh, chemo pills which is supposed to start shrinking it which is a good thing so everything's a good thing um I just don't know where I'm going to go when I leave here. <laughs> Not sure about that. We'll figure it out, though. We will figure it out. And I did get my Social Security check. I can't get access to it because I don't have my debit card because I left everything in the van. <laughs> but, uh, you know, eventually I can get to it. So until then, it's a good way to not spend money like I could anyway in here. I probably could order food or something. <laughs> okay, I love y'all. Stay positive. Thank you for helping me stay positive. And uh, follow your bliss. I will, I will keep you updated. <laughs>